The first time I remember I ever smoked a cigarette was uh, around the 4th of July when I was in the 8th grade. So I was, what, 12? So if I would get stressed, I'd smoke a cigarette. I'd be like, immediately forgive myself. I'm not going to start smoking again. You just, you cannot quit quitting. Some people think, if I smoke a cigarette, I have to start smoking again. And I didn't think that way. I knew if I smoked a cigarette that I had just made a mistake and I could not smoke again tomorrow. Four years ago, May 16th, 2005, <laughs> the date that I quit smoking. You know, before it's like, oh, it's a bad habit. It is not a habit. It's a drug addiction. All right, the first thing I did when I quit, this is one of the, well, the day that I quit, is I made this list of my most important reasons that I wanted to quit smoking. Well, since I'm a blackjack dealer at a casino, <laughs> I am around smoke every day, all day long. But I also have constant reminders of how important it is for me to stay quit in the form of older ladies and gentlemen pulling oxygen tanks around behind them. So I am around it, but I'm past that now. At first, it was much harder. And now it's just a constant reminder of how happy I am. Well, there's never a good time to quit. When, after Christmas, I'll quit. After summer's over and my kids go back to school, I'll quit. There's never a non-stressful time in your life. You just have to, I don't want to say bite the bullet, you just have to set a quit date. And when that day comes, you have to find your way through this journey of becoming free.